I don't look like how I normally should in the start of my videos. I look like this. And this is the out of the shower, I'm gonna catfish you, don't look at me kind of like Drew state that we all probably don't like. I mean, I don't like it at least. Um, you guys are probably gonna be nice and say, oh, you look fine. No, I don't. I look kind of awful right now. I thought that I would do like kind of a fun New Year's Eve transformation video, completely inspired by Lauren Giraldo. I've been watching her transformation videos and they're so fun. I'll link her below. You guys should check them out. She does like these like two hour nightclub transformations and I wanted to do like a 30 minute ish ish so a 30 minute new year's party transformation and i just took a shower right now my hair is still wet i kind of also want to show you guys my setup right now because i had to do a lot for this i literally have my phone up here with the flash going there a lululemon bottle james charles times morphe brush and a spell book and my lighting is like this because i have no natural light in my um bathroom and it would look like this without which is not okay. Wait, is that good? First thing that I do when I get ready is I'm gonna moisturize my face because like that needs some time to like soak in. But I'm using this Kate Somerville product here. It is called Exfolicate and I've used the most. Look how much is left in here. Literally used almost the entire jar. So um, yeah, I need another one of these. And I'm putting a little bit of this Vintner's Daughter um, Active Botanical Serum in it because this makes your face look so glowy and nice. I think that moisturized skin is like a key thing to have anytime you do anything or just like you know in life in general might as well stay moisturized kitty girl skin ew i look the grossest ew next we should probably just do hair because hair is like a little bit of a longer process and the first thing i'm gonna do so i washed my hair oh i didn't put in my conditioner spray yet so the conditioner i use this product here it's called davinos all-in-one oil milk it looks like that this is amazing if you have bleached hair if you have colored hair like this stuff works the best and I do like 10 sprays throughout my hair and I kind of just rub it through there to coat it but it really makes my hair so much softer than it is. And then I'm gonna put in there a little bit of the Whey Memory Mist because this is just a heat protectant. Legit, like fried as fuck. I might as well just spray some stuff in it. But maybe it won't crisp off in the middle of the night. I'm next going with my Dyson blow dryer and I'm obsessed with this. They sent this to me and it's probably one of my favorite things in the whole world. And I'm just gonna like roughly blow dry my hair until it's almost dry and then I'll share with you guys what I do to really get that full effect. Well, it's not turning on, so. What the hell? It's not turning on. Hello. Well. That is anticlimactic. Oh my gosh, it's working! I'm gonna show what I do next for my hair because I feel like it's very like key and as pieces fall out, which is amazing. You take your hair dryer, you take this little barrel thingy here. Oh, you guys can see me back there literally naked from a uh, dry bar and I love it It's just a little circle brush and all I do is I grab a little bit of hair just like that I kind of pick it up whatever it'll pick up itself just like this much put on the bow dryer and we're gonna blow it old grandpa right now okay so we've blown out the hair it looks like this still not good so can you tell how good and hydrated my skin is looking it's literally looking plastic which is perfect like i didn't have to do much to make it look plastic i use a little bit of this product which is the texturizing hairspray from way and i'm just gonna put it in like randomly i kind of focus it more in the front because i like a lot of volume in the front and then i'll of course put some remainder in the back then I kind of just like tweak it a little bit and try to work with it see what I can do with it but we are not exactly done I'm actually gonna put a little pomade in it which is also from way I'm not sponsored by way in any way any way at all how clever was that pomade in there and just rub it and get it heated then I'm just gonna kind of like scrunch it in there and I have to do my hair far away from the mirror because I can I have to like see it from a distance like where everyone else is gonna see it so I'll kind of just like finesse it a little bit. Blowing it out is it gives it these like nice little bits of curl, which I think adds a lot of interest. So I'll put some hairspray in there and this is kind of like what you can start using to mold the hair. So I'll put like a good amount and then I'll really start going in and trying to like mold the shape because my hair has no stability at all. So if you want your hair to be stuck on your head like for multiple days, use Aussie Insta Freeze. I always have like concerns about this like I hate my hairline right there so I'll open my mirror here and we can do a little like ah! 
I'll adjust these hairs and kind of pull one of them over to create almost like a hidden hairline. Kind of just like blend it as if it just casually, oh, it just flew over there and I didn't even know. That's how you transform into an Andrew Scott hairstyle. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna start with a shaver, and this is just like a cheap one from Target. It's a Philips Norelco Multi Groom, and I don't need to actually shave my face hair because I did it yesterday. I only do it every couple days. I'm just gonna shave like the bottom here. So I'm gonna go in and clean up the edge. off the face portion I have three products left first one is a lip mask from Bite bite beauty I'm obsessed with this it smells so good and it's like so thick you can barely even get it out of the tube and I just put a little bit of this eyelet because it's really mm. and then I'm gonna do my eyebrows first because I tend to do this step first and I use the Anastasia brow Wiz in soft brown but I'm just gonna go in with this Anastasia brow pencil draw my bottom line kind of a lot further in because my eyebrows look how far out they start which is bad my eyebrows also fall they fall down which is not the T like that's not the look this is not the look that you want like everyone wants to have a pulled up eyebrow which just makes your face look so much angled to kind of like pull them down so that way it looks like that's part of the arch and you'll see what I mean like if you're super straight and this is not your like cup of tea then feel free to not do this but also, you probably should because I'll be judging you. So I kind of just fill in the block, like uh, the front section like that. And I'll take the little spoolie on the end and just really like feather it out, which kind of just blends it and make it look really natural. It doesn't really look like there's any product on there at all. And then I'll go in and maybe add like a tiny bit more to like this top section here. And then maybe like just finish off the tip a little bit. I really don't want my eyebrow to look super structured. I just like it to look a little bit more filled in. This side is my disgusting bad eyebrow. So typically it's like... This one takes some more finessing for sure. Okay, I'm gonna do the little brush strokes up for this one. Eyebrows are hard, guys. These do not look similar at all. And then I'm gonna pull this arch up because as you can see, like, it's literally falling down, so I need to pull up a little bit. So that's what I do to my eyebrows, and I think it looks just a hundred times better. So then I'm gonna go in and use this brow pencil. And the reason I use this one as opposed to the Anastasia one is because this one has just like not a lot of product in it and it's a lot more expensive. Like the tip on this product is just really small and like delicate as opposed to this is like actual full on pencil. So this is my real facial hair guys. Like a lot of you don't know, but my facial hair is super patchy. Um, so a tip that I've always, always done every single day, which no one ever clocks me on, is just I fill it in. So I'll take this brow pencil and it really takes me probably three minutes, two minutes to fill this in. Look at this. You go in, create a top line, do light little strokes like the tiniest ever. I'm almost done. Like, can you see that? You can layer as much as you want to if you want it to be darker. And then I'll also kind of go in and because I have zero jawline at all, the lighting is doing that for me right now. Like I really don't have one. I'm just gonna add a little bit there. And then I also have to always fill in my under double chin. Fill in the double chin for a real one. Switch over to the other side and fill this one really quickly. Okay, and that finishes off the full face. So I guess now we're just gonna go into the closet and pick out an outfit for this party, which I kind of have an idea of, but let's head on in there. And this closet is not good at all. It's literally orange, so you're gonna have to deal with that. But I think for this uh, party, I wanna do something a little bit more like formal. I just love being like over the top. I always have, as you can probably tell by my Instagram. So I was thinking about wearing a suit and I have this new pretty one from Express, which I really like because it's like a chocolatey brown. Can you see that? And I've never really seen someone wear a brown suit before. So I thought I would do that with maybe like, with like a tank top underneath to kind of edge it up a little bit because I'm not a suit person. And then like a pair of boots and some necklaces. And I think I'm gonna just put with it one of these super simple literal like Hanes tank tops. These are like called wife beaters or something, which I don't understand the name of that. So I just call it tank top. You can literally see my nipples in this though, which I think is fine. Oh yes, this is a look. You can kind of see through this, but I'll have a blazer over it, which I don't plan on taking the blazer off. So that has to stay on all night. Throw on the blazer and I think I want to add... Oh yeah, this is so good. These are the three necklaces I've been wearing so much lately. And like they're, one of them is from Louis Vuitton. The one that looks like a razor blade is from Louis Vuitton. And then I have a little palm tree and this little spade, which is from APC, I think. 
And I have just been loving pairing all of these together. So I have to put on, yeah, I feel like they should be up here or something. Oh, well, I think I might not. I think I might just wear the chain necklace I shared first. I like to wear it with a clasp in front. Everyone always yells at me for that though. Honestly, it kind of looks good with all of them. I am kind of into that. I always like over accessorize. I'm gonna throw on this super simple little H&M belt just to sort of lock in the waist area. And then I'm gonna put on some shoes. I think I'm gonna do a boot because I'm obsessed with boots. Or I'll do this Converse, something that's not too Formal, like nothing like a loafer or anything. And my go-to jewelry that I always have on is like this Xiaomi official gold hoop with a dagger and then this gold hoop here. And I have a second hole on this side that's just like a small hoop by Chari, I think by Kari. I brought out the Calvin Klein's, which I love because they have a silver toe on them, like so cool. And the cut of this uh, suit pant is so good because it's like not too skinny, it's not too wide, and it's cropped. So it kind of gives you like that 80s retro look, which I think looks so good with this outfit. But this is actually gonna be the finished look today, guys, for the New Year's party. It's not New Year's yet, but my friend's throwing like an early one. I know it's still bright out, but I wanted to film while I had some kind of lighting. And yeah, I'll be wearing this for the next couple hours until I head over to his house. So it's not exactly exactly a real New Year's party because it's not New Year's yet, but it's a party that my friend's having tonight, so I thought I would go and head over to his house, but I think this outfit looks so good. I'm obsessed with the brown suit, and then the hair and the face and everything just turned out nice. My skin looks so nice too, so very pleased about that. But this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this more casual video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, give this one a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below. I would love to create them for you. I never really do things on the vlog camera, so let me know if you guys like this uh, style of video, and I can definitely do more for you. I will catch you all in my next one. And have a great New Year's Eve, and let's start off 2019 with a bang. Peace.